Hello everybody, welcome to Snyder's Inc. And today we have got a slapped hand video. And I'm very excited. To see what this video is gonna be, ladies and gentlemen. I need you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment what you think down below. Let's go. Wait, before we say let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to help the channel out with a donation, you can leave a super thanks or link to my PayPal is in the description. Let's go. Alan, and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some of the scariest video clips that are trending on socials right now. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. I am so curious to see what videos you got for me, Slapped Ham. What the fuck? In this creepy footage captured on the phone of the Redditor door. Domi Racer, we see something rather creepy playing out at 2 a.m. Take a look. Close. The eerie incident occurred in a store named Bradley's Lock and Key in Savannah, Georgia. As the camera focuses on the door at the rear of the store, it slowly moves. Yeah, I swear it closed. A few oh, seconds a later, shot. a mysterious light can be seen to the right of the door. The strange activity continues for some time. A few more seconds pass and another strange light appears. Hmm. The door remains still. I can see the light, but I would not be surprised if most people watching this can't. The light thing he's talking about here, you will barely be able to notice it if you're not really looking for it. It will slip right by. You blink, you'll miss it. Then violently opens. According to the poster, oh, wait, wait, this was enough open. to make them drop their phone while screaming like a five-year-old. Savannah, Georgia, often referred to as America's most haunted city, is steeped in eerie tales and ghost stories that reflect its deep historical roots. Founded in 1733, Savannah witnessed wars. I forgot what I was going to say. Never mind. I was going to say something, my stupid brain forgot. Never mind. Was epidemics, fires, and countless tragedies, all of which have contributed to its haunted reputation. One of the most famous haunted sites in Savannah is the Moon River Brewing Company, housed in the city's oldest hotel building. Patrons and staff frequently report encounters with apparitions, sudden changes in temperature, and unexplained sounds. The upper floors are so notorious for paranormal activity that they're often inaccessible to the public. Another iconic haunted location is the Mercer Williams House, made famous by the book and movie Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Just behind its- I have no idea what that movie is. What is that movie? Anyone can find it. What is it about? And is it any good? Elegant facade lies a tale steeped in mystery and tragedy. It was within these walls that Jim Williams, a prominent antiques dealer, resided until his life met a grim end under suspicious circumstances. Rumours swirled about the mansion, whispers of hauntings and restless spirits gracing its halls. Visitors recount chilling encounters from inexplicable cold spots to spectral apparitions wandering the grand rooms. Danny Hansford, the assistant and lover of Jim Williams, was found dead in the Mercer Williams house on May 2nd, 1981. The circumstances surrounding his death are murky and have been the subject of much speculation and controversy. According to Jim Williams' account, he shot Hansford in self-defense during a heated argument. Williams claimed that Hansford was prone to violent outbursts and had threatened him with a gun, leading to a struggle that ended in tragedy. However, others have raised doubts about Williams' version of events, suggesting that the shooting may have been premeditated or motivated by other factors. The case went to trial four times, with Williams ultimately being acquitted of murder charges in 1989. This sounds like one of them cases that's hard to prove. Uh, 1980, I think, 
as when they said in 1981, you are going to have not much uh, DNA, you don't have much um, forensic evidence you can get. It's not as easy as it was, so yeah, I'm not surprised this would be um, one that would be hard to get a murder conviction on. Despite the legal proceedings, the true nature of Danny Hansford's death remains uncertain, and the Mercer Williams house continues to be haunted by the spectre of the tragic event. These stories and locations are just a sampling of what makes Savannah a favoured destination for those interested in the paranormal. It seems that Bradley's Lock and Key, the building seen in this video, can now be added to the ever-growing list of places that are said to be haunted in this historic southern city. In a spine-chilling post on Reddit by user CharacterWar2442, an image reveals a dark figure that seems to defy conventional explanation. Mm -hmm. This image, taken from the family's home security system, shows what looks to be a ghostly or shadowy figure. With one particular eerie detail, the figure's foot doesn't seem to touch the floor. The backstory provided by the poster adds layers to this ghostly encounter. The user explains that during their teenage years living in their parents' basement, both they and their younger brother experienced unexplained paranormal activities, such as the closet doors opening and closing, and unsettling sounds during the night. Initially dismissed as mere house noises or the family's cat's antics, these experiences were largely ignored by their parents. However, years after the siblings moved out, their parents started noticing similar disturbances, including items moving, knocks, and even doors slamming on their own. One evening, their stepfather noticed movement on the security camera and saw this shadowy figure moving across the family room towards the garage. This occurred while he was working in the garage and the rest of the family was elsewhere in the house. This baffling image and the family's subsequent I'm sorry, the foot looks like it's touching the ground to me. Maybe I'm just dumb and catchy. It looks like it's touching the ground to me. Quinn experiences have left both the family and viewers online puzzled. Could this be a lingering presence in the old home? As the family grapples with these strange events, the mystery continues to unfold, inviting speculations and theories about the true nature of the shadowy figure captured on film. In an intriguing post on Reddit, user ZorgSM shared a captivating story that blurs the lines between memory and the supernatural. The image in question, taken with a simple toy camera that produces black and white prints, appears to show an unexpected figure. According to the poster, the photograph was snapped by their young nephew during a playful session at the poster's parents' house, where their beloved dog Toto once lived and passed away seven years ago. Despite the time that has elapsed, the family has kept Toto close to their hearts. As they looked over the photos, to their astonishment, one print seemed to distinctly show Toto's familiar form. This mysterious occurrence has left the family puzzled and deeply moved, pondering the possibility that their cherished pet might be still lingering in their old family home. So what do you think? The side-by-side -side resemblance is uncanny. Has the poster's nephew really captured an image of the family dog, Toto? Let me know what you think about this one in the comments down below. No. No, I know what this is. I know, I know what this is. However, I've always said this, so I'm not, I'm not gonna, you know, put much emphasis on it. If it gives them closure and it makes them feel good, just leave it be. So that's what I'm going to do. Just leave it be. Now again, this isn't that, but let's just leave it be for them. Alone. This next video is posted to Reddit by user Suspicious Hornet 614 Take a look at what's been caught on camera. 
I've been caught. What the? What? What the? Got my glitch ass shit. Captured by a motion sensor camera in their backyard, the footage reveals what appears to be a ghostly figure lurking near a rear wall. The bewildered poster admits to being thoroughly perplexed and a little terrified by this strange sighting, confessing they can't discern whether they're witnessing a simple camera glitch or something more supernatural. For now, the poster has left the unnerving footage up to the community to debate. As speculation runs rampant, viewers are left to wonder, is this a digital distortion or could it be an actual visitation from the other side? In an eerie revelation shared on Reddit by user Bambino Quarantino, a photograph taken at Plat- Bambino Quarantino? What a name. Love the name. Um, theaters in Gilroy, California, appears to have captured something rather creepy. The photo, snapped in 2019 before the theater was remodeled, was taken during a private screening offered to employees and their families. As the poster's friend hurried to the front to take a pre-movie snapshot, an unexpected figure was caught lurking behind the guardrail. Described as an anomaly by the poster, this go- Huh. Who's that? What is this? I'm not trying to figure out what this is. Let me know if you got it is. This looks kind of weird. I thought it's a ghost, but I don't know what it is. Ghostly figure adds a chilling layer to the theater's ambience, especially considering the timing of the photograph right before the venue's closure for renovation. This mysterious presence has sparked discussions and curiosity among Reddit users, with many speculating about the nature of this unwelcome guest. In a serene stroll through Singer Hill Park in Oregon City back in April 2015, a seemingly ordinary family outing turned into an eerie encounter. Callie Edwards and her children were enjoying the park when her two-year-old daughter oh Grace suddenly halted and stared upwards, visibly yeah. fixated oh on something. Oh my god! So you can see the ghostly figure here and this child is looking right and talking to it. What the fuck? What the f- No one else could see. Her brother, 10 year old Andrew, captured the moment with a cell phone, not realizing the significance of the shot at the time. It was only later at home as they reviewed the day's photos that the family noticed what Andrew had unintentionally captured. Yeah. A ghostly figure looming above Grace. This unexpected appearance in the photo has since piqued the curiosity of viewers who speculate about the nature of the figure. Could it be a guardian spirit watching over Grace or simply a trick of light and shadow? Take another My man losing his mind and effort. That, you know, shot. Look at the photo and let me know what you think this could be in the comments down below. Before we take a look at an eerie little clip that's been submitted over on our Slaptam subreddit, remember to hit that subscribe button and then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be notified every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. In a chilling video submitted to our Slaptam subreddit by a user who's since deleted their account, Viewers are given a glimpse of a haunting shadowy figure lurking near the notorious Hell's Gates Railroad trestle near Lubbock Cemetery in Texas. Take a look. That's it, watch. There is no one here. You see no one walk by. Bam. Someone walks by there. What the hell? Now, I think these are two... Now, I will say, I think these are edited together. These are two videos edited together. It's fucking bizarre as fuck, though. 
The footage, captured under the eerie cover of Twilight, has sparked considerable intrigue and fear among paranormal enthusiasts and skeptics alike. Hell's Gate's trestle is steeped in local legend, often associated with numerous ghost stories and unexplained occurrences. The lore surrounding this area includes tales of spectral figures wandering near the tracks and sudden, unexplainable chills in the air. According to local legend, the trestle marks a kind of portal or boundary beyond which the spirits of those buried in the nearby Lubbock Cemetery are said to roam. The video adds a visual testament to these chilling stories, showing a disturbingly distinct figure that appears and vanishes without a trace. This particular video only deepens the mystique of Hell's Gate, inviting speculation and investigation into what might be one of Texas's most haunted locations. Whether it serves as a hotspot for paranormal activity or simply a place that stirs the imagination, Hell's Gates continues to be a compelling destination for those chasing the thrill of the unknown. Now in case you Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this reaction video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all for the next one.